DC fans launch a petition for Warner Brothers to release Zack Snyder's original cut of Now That The Last Superhero Film of the Year, and arguably the most anticipated of them all, has finally arrived. Critics, fans, and even casual moviegoers all have their chance to weigh in on, which may be the most divisive outing from the genre this year. After the astounding success of DC Films once again finds themselves in a precarious situation where their project did not really pan out the way they were hoping it would, has gone through a tumultuous production process from its development all the way until post-production, it was marred with controversy and it's still awe-inspiring how folks behind the project were able to power through and deliver the movie on time. Sure there were lapses but, all in all, it did what it had to do and that is to set up the league. Still, many brand it as a failure. Considering all the factors that affected the movie, fans are now demanding to see Snyder's original cut of the film which was reported months ago to be well received by the studio XX, until the filmmaker stepped down in past directorial duties. To Joss Whedon, related Zack Snyder hasn't seen Justice League taking the request to, over 32,000 fans have signed the petition as of this writing. According to the petition, they're calling for the release of not just the original cut of the movie, but Junkie excels the original composer before Danny Elfman stepped in intended musical scorer as well, started by Roberto Marta. From Puerto Rico, he explained the intention of the petition in the mission statement The petition is now relevant more than ever following the cast openly talking about their respective scenes cut from the movie, specifically what was to be character establishing. Flashbacks for Barry Allen, Victor Stone, and Arthur Curry, which may have helped with critics' comments about wanting to spend more time with them. Further, the leak of several deleted scenes from its early days of production further motivates people to want to see Snyder's initial version of. Let's be clear, however reviews are far kinder than those its predecessors received, specifically and and aptly so. The cast's chemistry was obviously there with all of the actors delivering their performances. But for a supposedly culminating project, it was simply not enough for many. What is more frustrating is that most of the issues could have been resolved with minimal effort. Nevertheless, all moving parts worked pretty well. SourceChange.org